Alright, I'm back with another video. Uh, I'm going to do this one on Winamp. Uh, just show you a few things that you can do it, use it for, uh, like the internet radio, uh, playing CDs, things like that, pretty much anything you want. I think it also does videos. Uh, it's a free download. Uh, what you want to do is just go to winamp.com, click on the free download button. Um, I would download this one right here on the far right. Uh, just go ahead and download that, go through the setup. Uh, one thing to keep in mind whenever you're um, actually installing the software is whenever it prompts you for um, the Winamp toolbar, just go ahead and uncheck that. And uh, if it says anything, if it wants to change your default search engine or anything like that, uncheck those boxes. Uh, then just go ahead and continue with the installation. Uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, show you how you can stream internet radio uh, through Winamp. So I'm opening this up here. Now when you first download it, it's going to look a little different, but everything still functions the same. Um, all I did was just download a skin that changes the layout, the color, and everything like that of Winamp. Um, but what you want to do is go to, open up the browser real quick. Uh, let's see. You can go to Shoutcast dot com and you can basically just go through here and, and search for uh, any kind of radio station you know whatever kind of music you, you know you're into uh, you can do it you can do it uh, you know type in the search do it that way or you can come over here and select your genre um, you can click on just this or you can click on the plus symbol here and it will drop down and give you more detail uh, more detailed search uh, let's see, so I like I want to go into rap and hip hop, and these are all the stations here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when you're searching for an internet radio station, you want to look at you know the popularity is one key thing to look for. Um, you know, this one has 5,321 listeners. Uh, the audio quality is 128 kilobytes, which is good audio quality. It's better than your standard radio. Uh, actually, I think it's a lot better than your standard standard radio. Uh, the format is an MP3. Um, but yeah, you can do it. You know, look for your genres. You know, you can find different stations uh, that play. You know, different styles of music, stuff like that. I, I guess they each have their own niche. Um, but if you want to listen to it, just click on Tune In, and it's going to ask you what you want to open it with. Make sure it says Winamp, and then hit OK. And then there it goes, starts playing. Alright, and we're going to hit stop real quick. So now you want to save this and you want to be able to add it to a playlist. Um, we'll open this up, got the playlist here, and this is just showing you uh, the station name, uh, the artist, the song, stuff like that. What you want to do is right click on it and go to send to and then you can go to the new playlist or if you already have an existing playlist you can select it from here uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do a new playlist walk you through that real quick uh, just name this test alright then we'll go back to the media library and test will show up in here actually I got two of them because I did uh, one for a video I did a second ago that didn't work out um, I'm going to delete that Alright, <clears throat> so one of the things that kind of annoyed me whenever I saved these to my playlist was this, the name and the song that was playing whenever I downloaded this would always show up there no matter what, so I wanted to get rid of it. Well, here's how you can do that. Um, once you're in the media library showing the playlist here, you can go to manage playlist. And what you're going to do is click on export playlist. And I'm going to go ahead and overwrite this one too. Uh, see, it says as an M3U file. Those are It's a playlist extension. So you just hit save. I'll go ahead and overwrite it. Uh, hit yes. Alright. Let's see. Where did it save it to? There it is. Alright, so you got your, your uh, playlist exported to your desktop now. And what you want to do is right click on it right click on it then go to open with and look for notepad 
Uh, if it's not in this list here, you can go to Choose Programs and you can scroll through all the different programs till you find Notepad. Uh, but go ahead and just open it up. And this is what it looks like here. This line right here is basically explaining to whatever's trying to open it that this is an M3U file, a playlist file. This next line defines you know the radio station, then you got your web address where it's streaming it from. Um, but after the after the pound ext inf colon uh, dash one comma is everything that will actually be typed into the playlist like what you see here. So what you can do is just go in here and delete out you know delete the stuff that you don't want shown. Get rid of that and get rid of that and say that's all you want to show up in the playlist. Then you will hit file. And make sure you do save as. And another thing, the save as type, you have to change this to all files. Or else it's just going to save it as a text file, which this isn't a text file. This is an M3U file. Alright, and I'm going to overwrite it. Um, hit save. Yes. And then you can close this out. And then once you get back to WinApp, you can go back to manage playlist again and this time you're going to import a playlist from a file and that's the file that we had just saved uh, search for that and then hit open and here it's asking if you want to import the playlist it says do you want to append the imported playlist to this playlist no you don't want to append it uh, you want it to overwrite that current playlist that's shown on the screen in Winamp so all you're going to do is select no and then it changes it to that uh, Another website you can go to. Uh, it's a pretty decent website. Um, gotten, I've got used to the Shoutcast. Less commercials uh, since it's live. I'll take you there. Three, live 365com They have a lot of their own commercials on there, along with the radio station itself. Um, it's they. I think it's pretty they have a pretty large selection but basically you're doing the same thing you can go browse genres and once you find what you're looking for you can go in here I kinda like how there's their sites laid out a little bit better of course they got a pop-up coming up here um, you can actually click on their names the name of the station, scroll down, see what they're playing at the moment. They, I think they do this a little bit better than what uh, Shoutcast does, uh, but that really isn't too important. But you can go in here, hit the play button, and it's automatically going to bring it up. I don't know if you see us on the other screen here, but this is how it plays. wait for it to load up here it's all these commercials like I was talking about this is kind of one of the reasons why I went away from it but if you do a pay subscription thing it gets rid of all the ads and I think you get better quality and everything too And see that after it's done with that, it asked me if I want to play us in Winamp, so I'm gonna hit OK. And there it starts playing. And it's basically it. Oh, I say one thing I didn't like too much about Live 365 is they didn't play um, the name of the artist that was playing at the you know the time the song's playing. Um, shout, you know, if you're listening to the song, you don't know who it is. You want to be able to look up there and see the name and the title of the song. Um, Live 365 doesn't do it, uh, at least not for the free version they have. Now, if you got the subscription, it might be a little bit different, but um, I like Shoutcast. It works a lot better. Um, but yeah, just try them out, see which one you like, um, and that's it for this video, thanks.